Oh, wait. Where, where are you going? No. Go get wait. Him. Go get him. I'll get him. Ah! Get out of here. Try something a little different today. This, honestly, I just kind of picked him up because I was kind of like, I needed some dog food. So I'm gonna to try to trap some uh, some fish for the other pond, the one in my house. Because the guy at the, the store told me, or not the store, but the fish farm, he told me that bluegill are like really high demand right now, and they can't even buy them. So I need to trap some bluegill to actually transfer them over, and I might possibly catch some bass to transfer as well. But at the same time, I was thinking to myself, I don't have any dog food and I don't have any bread. Cornflakes. That should work. That, that really should actually work. So you guys know I did, I built this trap myself. I'm literally just going to throw some rocks inside of it, chuck it out there, and we're going to take a old Optic Crim6 or Ian Porter, what you guys would like to call him. We're going to take him shooting today. I think he told me 135 was his farthest shot ever. Little does he know, the first shot he's going to take here is going to be at least 300, so. I think this should work, though. I really need, I need to trap some fish for that pond. I really do. I just put a 1,000 fish in it the other day, and I need some more. Damn, this water's up a ton. Stephen, what do you think? Yay or nay? I mean, I need it. I mean, I, it's, it's a no brainer right there. It should work. Oh, that didn't land. That did not land right. Nope. Yeah, we'll leave it right there. Right. The dew? What was the farthest you saw at 135? Yeah, not 130? far. Okay. Not far. 135. I think the first one's 310. That is you, Steven. What's this go to? The, the scope? Uh, it's an 18 power. It's like oh, so easy, yeah. like this top this top turret. Yeah, it's a lot further. <laughs> what, then what, the scope? Yeah, then what I've done, I've only gone up to four. Oh. Yeah, you'll be able to, I think the lowest is three, so you go from three to 18. Yeah. But uh, it's real easy. Like, this is gonna, you're gonna be really shocked on how easy this really is. All right. Aim at the belly. Okay. I got it. Okay, this is more comfortable. I rushed that one. Yeah. There you go. You got around. Hundred percent. Cool. Oh. Remember, just trigger squeeze. Like when you pull it back, hold it there for a second so you can hear it click back forward when you release it. Okay. Like. When you trigger squeeze, mm -hmm. like, I mean, like when you when you pull it back, hold it back for a second. Just hold it there, okay. and then release so you can hear it reset. So okay. See a reset. Okay. Good. You shoot on your natural exhale, always your natural, you never hold your breath, so it's just like, like right when you exhale, and you just hold it there, and then you'll hear it go, when you release, you'll hear it on the inside, it'll reset, and that's, okay. that's when you know you're like perfect on your trigger squeeze. Okay. This next one's... To the left? Yeah, it's, you can barely see the head or whatever, it might be kind of difficult when you're laying down like that, but that one's going to be like just under 400. 380. 380, yeah, you're right. 380, so we're going to go to 4 minus 2. A lot of people asked last time what 4 minus 2 meant. But if you look up here, literally 380, so I make it quick. I go to 4 and then 1, 2. Where'd you aim on that one? Uh, like head high. Okay. Yeah, just 
I mean, I, I can't even see the bottom half of the target. Yeah, that makes sense. You hit him in the nipple. Okay. That's a hit. See that center mass? Yeah, I aimed down into the left right there. Yeah, whatever, whatever you just shot, it's good. I mean, that was three, 380. You want to push even farther now? You want to go to 580? Yeah. Okay. Yo, you can do it if you want. So just go to six and then minus two after that. Yeah, it says elevation six minus two. I just do it. That's all just quick in my head. Okay, so the left, the first left tick should be on the like. The right edge of the target. Okay. Yes. Like my right, his yeah. left. His, yeah, his, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yep. Right. You ready? There you go. Shoot, shoot towards the belly. Was that a good shot? Yeah, that was center. Okay, yeah, shoot, shoot at the belly this time. There you go. What are you doing? Uh, I have other witnesses. I just hit this <laughs> offhand 300 on with a red dot, and Steven didn't even record it. Hitting you, Steven. There you, go. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> you see what I mean by you want to hear trigger squeeze? This yeah. is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like, see what I mean? The meat of the finger, not this part yep. of your finger. Meat of your finger, it's just. And you can hear it reset. Yeah. We do 580. I think the next one after this is like. Six, yeah, 650. So this gun was actually extremely dialed at 650. Okay. Like stupid dialed. Every, I hit every single shot, five shots in a row. So it's very, it's on. This is when I can start really helping you on the... Six and a half. Yeah, I just go to six and a half, and then I should be able to guide you on if, if anything. Okay. That's center mass. Okay. So whatever you just did, just do the same thing. That was, that was, that was a very good shot. That's bottom left. Yep. yep. And the wind's still great, so you can send him whatever you would like. Now it's kicking down there, so it's gonna push you around. Hold right edge and just send it. That's a good hit. Okay. You pretty good there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was Oh. <laughs> I could have sworn I just missed the out of that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, you good at six and a half? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Every minute right now is seven and a half inches. Okay. So should I just aim center right now? We want to try center. I'm going to assume, I'm going to assume we're probably going to have to, I mean, this, this round's not, it's been struggling. Last time it struggled when we got out of here, I had to shoot way right. You're ready to shoot whenever you would like. Okay. Left, you hit. You hit left. Okay. It was that. A, did you aim center mass? Was center. it? It was a good. So like now you want to. You, yeah, it's okay. So take take the center of your crosshairs, and if you hit, remember that it's a 16 inch wide target or so. Yeah. So you hit halfway this way. So take your crosshairs and put them on the right edge of the target, and you should be hitting center mass. Okay. So you're gonna adjust by just moving around that much. Still hit. You can send another one if you like. I mean, your grouping is good there, man. 700, it should shoot a three and a half inch shot group. And at 100, it's gonna shoot a half inch and 200 an inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, if I was gonna make the assumption to be, I'm gonna say half, half to a minute. Here's another five. We'll shoot, you feel pretty comfortable at seven, you wanna go farther, or you wanna do more at seven, or 750, excuse me. Next one's like 810. Let's do, yeah, let's do a couple more. Okay. Here. So you're gonna go to eight plus two. Plus two. Yeah, plus two. Go to, yep. I can't see. Yeah, so eight plus two you should be. I mean, it is pretty far, dude. It's yeah. over eight football fields away. <laughs> I mean, eight times further than. <laughs> Your first ever shot, longest yeah. ever. That was a uh, left shoulder. Head center. Nice. Dead center. <laughs> there we go. I'm talking dead center. That was 
Oh, let's. I gotta do it again. I gotta do it. <laughs> that was dead center. Is it crazy how long it takes the sound to get here? Yeah. Still left. Same. Literally the same spot. Oh. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that was like. You hit her right in the neck. <laughs> Dude, I was like, I was going off of the reset. <laughs> And you went back again? Yeah, and I went too fast. Well, you just drilled them. Well, did not mean it to. <laughs> Hit him. That's probably the best shot I've seen someone accidentally do. Pretty solid. I kind of reminds me, was one time I was thinking, I don't know if I ever said this before, but I was, uh, I was at sniper school doing some dumb stuff, you know? I turned around. Actually, I don't know if I should tell the story. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I should tell. Did I tell you the story which yeah. I'm talking about? I mean, it's it's done and over with. It's so. done and over, so I can talk about it. It's been like ten years. It was, it was just I was sitting there, it's like fatigued, just all canvy, because 'cause I've been like just doing this all day, just reps and reps and reps. And my spotter was sitting behind me, and so was the uh, instructors. And I remember this: if you if you accidentally shoot, kind of like what he just did, you get kicked out of school instantly. And I remember I turned <laughs> around, and the the triggers are so light. I turned around like this. My hand was still inside the the the, the, the trigger well. And I turned and I barely pulled the trigger and it went off. And I literally said, uh, bad shot, bad shot, left side target. Just, I literally just made up some bull just because I didn't want them to know. I just accidentally discharged right down the range. That's real. It actually happens. It's not that big a deal. Just got to play it off like it's, it's cool. <laughs> play it off. Right, I shouldn't have said anything. No, you should have yeah. been like, ah, good shot. Damn, that was center mass. I should, I should have been like, that. <laughs> the first shot pissed me off so much I shot the second shot so bad. <laughs> Just over his left shoulder. Just over its head. Still up high. That was a good hit. Now do you feel accomplished? No. No? Why? It was a, what, one for like Oh, it doesn't matter. It's, th it's, th it's 300 yards offhand. Pretty good with this gun, huh? <laughs> Hold up. It's a good gun. Yeah. I know what it is, but I'm just gonna recheck. Re I should have already put a dope card on my gun, but I haven't because I'm smart. That wind really, really messes with you when you're standing up. Six fifty. Damn, six fifty is. That's scary. Yeah, I think six fifty is max standing up. I had to ask him, uh, did you get it that again? Yeah. Oh, dang it! Ask him who he thought the best Call of Duty player in the world was. I still think it's him. Right. Steven, chances Frosted Flakes works. Hundred percent. Like I said, I'd eat it. So, so he's saying I should probably grab this thing out of the back and bring it over there because you think it's going to be good to go. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. I probably should take the battery out. How much for you to eat that dead critic? How much for you to eat that? 100 bucks. Cash? Done. Yeah? <laughs> you like that? 100 bucks. Yep. Just munch on that thing. Look at him. You have to swallow it. Oh my god. <laughs> You have to swallow. I have, I have to oh. swallow. Yeah, you have to swallow. Hundred bucks. Oh, you to do that. oh my gosh! Can I take the lids off? Nope. Hundred bucks. Just chew. you have to chew. You have to chew it up too. No swallow. Yeah. It's not a pill. Come on. You got this? Oh, hundred bucks for that, huh? Yeah. Chew it. Swallow it. They all can't, the way. It, it can't hurt me. Uh, yeah. It probably could. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> do it. Hundred bucks. Easy. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is it crunchy? <laughs> Hundred bucks. Just swallow it. Chew it up. Chew it up. I want to hear it crunching. We want to hear it crunch. Oh, oh yes. Oh. oh. I can't. You can't swallow it. Hundred bucks a lot. You have to. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks a lot. <laughs>
Damn, why have you not like you made the hundred bucks? <laughs> just swallow it. <laughs> You're gonna... He's halfway there. <laughs> Save the water. <laughs> no, dude, swallow it straight up. It's a bet. <laughs> oh my. You nasty I... son of a bitch. <laughs> <coughs> no way in hell I would have done that for a hundred bucks. You know how long that probably been sitting in there? <laughs> I'll give you an update later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, look God. at the inside of this thing. There's another one in there if you want to do it. No, I'm over. done. <laughs> that was disgusting. That was the worst thing I've ever ate on this channel. <clears throat> God, that's horrible. No, that was terrible. That was more than horrible. Why do it's I do good this though. Stuff? I mean, a hundred bucks. That's it's the fastest hundred bucks I've ever made. That's the best hundred bucks you ever made, huh? It's probably one of the nastiest things I've seen you do ever. It tasted better than the minnow. It tasted better than the minnow? Yeah. And you do the minnow for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't have a hundred dollars. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Dude, we got the juice. Oh, dude. Hell yes. Yeah, I'm gonna do something real quick. I'm gonna see if I can catch a couple bass. What do you think, Gay? Yeah. Let me guess. June bugs, slim shakes. Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise, you hit it hard. Did you see that? Yeah. Ooh, there we go. That's what we're looking for, little dude. Little dude. That's exactly what I needed. So if you guys were wondering, you can grab Gungu Baits right now. GunguBaits.com or you can go to Carl's or even Tackle Warehouse. They're shipping out right now. No wait time. It's pretty much the only shameless plug I'm going to do in this video. Now it's starting right. Yeah. I told you it was around noon, I think. Oh, they're still tasty. This bass is about to be so confused. Well, we got an idea how we're going to maintain or manage the water from getting so muddy. We're going to start sticking. Right now, it's just coming off the hill. And when it comes off the hill, all the dirt and everything just comes through. So we're going to take back over there where the creek comes in we're going to take um railroad ties and we're going to put them like this so when the water comes down the creek or down the little drainage it actually is getting broke up and whatnot and it's not just draining all this nasty mud straight in here but this bass and these these they're they're about to be in for a shocker that is dirty calm yourself calm yourself calm yourself calm yourself just, just chill Dude, I couldn't imagine going from clean water. That'd be like, what the hell is going on? Oh, you might want to. There you go. Okay. Well, what do you think, Steven? Yeah or nay? Oh, yeah. Okay. You want to take a look at the house real quick before we bounce? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Looks like a bunch of wood. A little lighting. See all the lights now. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I got a ton of like tedious little tasks got to knock out for the rest of the day. I'm not going to take you guys with me. I want to say thank you for hanging out with myself and, and old Steven, of course, and then uh, Ian, you know, Crimsick, whatever you guys want to call him. If you guys know who he is, I think he is one of the most winningest Call of Duty players in history. I know he has the most titles ever in history, but I've, I've known the guys... I've known him for a while, and him and Optic and Hector, all the guys that are in there. So anyway, I want to, I want to say uh, thanks for him to coming out and tagging his longest distance ever. And Frosted Flakes, they work. So if you guys have never used it and need to catch a little bit of bluegill action for your pond or maybe for fishing, go ahead. Frosted them flakes up, baby. So I'm out of here. I got to go. Like I said, got stuff to knock out. I will see you guys tomorrow with another episode. You guys know what to do. Click that video right there. If you're not seeing hey, click the one right below. If you haven't already, subscribe right down there. Do it to 11 pieces. I love it. Thanks for hanging out.